when we have multiple borrowings and multiple utilizations what does it we will do here we will simply determine weighted average borrowing rate for all such general borrowings uh, the standard uses the term called as non specific borrowings we simply call it as general borrowings a16 uses the idea called as non specific borrowings they simply say that total borrowing cost minus specific borrowing cost that is how these guys go about uh, identical we simply call that as borrowing cost for general borrowing so effectively one and the same so determine weighted average borrowing rate for all general borrowings what exactly is a weighted average borrowing rate here it's like this let's say that you borrow loan number 1 and 1st of april 2015 or 16 as appropriate 100 crores at 10 percentage you borrow one more loan on 1st of september at around uh, you know 18 percentage or 30 crores 1st of october one more amount so if somebody comes and tells it what exactly is your average rate you cannot say that 10 plus 18 plus some other number by 3 because it's not only about rate it's also about time so we will consider a time weighted average rate of uh, borrowing that is what will be computing now how do you go about computing this the weighted average borrowing rate would be nothing but total of general borrowing cost note this carefully we are saying general borrowing cost not general interest cost so there are some incidental charges there are some processing fee all those items needs to be aggregated along with the interest cost for, for that year ella numerator la denominator la weighted average borrowings based on time weight it simply say we borrow 100 crores on 1st of april 50 crores on uh, uh, what do you call it as uh, 1st of october we say 100 crores into 12 by 12 outstanding for the entire year 50 crore into 6 by 12 therefore uh, we will uh, say that uh, no 100 plus 25 so 125 crore is the weighted average borrowing idha vand will be the conclusion based on time proportion so this will happily this will actually tell us that okay yaar first 6 months i had 100 crores total loan next 6 months i had 150 crore total loan on an average i had 125 crores that is what we will try and do as part of this computation so weighted average borrowings based on time weight will ascertain weighted average borrowing rate then what does it will say here rename wabr to capitalization rate in fact that is what standard does they will say that apply capitalization rate what is capitalization rate weighted average borrowing rate weighted average borrowing rate in the term they are using only to define or compute your capitalization rate we'll rename that as capitalization rate and apply capitalization rate on amounts spent on qualifying asset to ascertain amount to be capitalized what would be the period guys once again from the date of utilization till the end of the year or cessation date whichever happens earlier in that year if my asset is over on 28th of february i have to stop capitalization on 28th of february if my asset is getting over only on 30th of april For the current year, I should stop capitalization on 31st of March. So that's all good here. Sorry, guys. Nothing else at all. And aggregate of uh, such amounts capitalized uh, will be excluded from total borrowing cost. So after that, what amount to be expensed? What are the overall categories? So when it comes down to your uh, general borrowings we can probably say that these are the ones of activities that we would be required to do